Well, like, so. Holy sh. Right? No. That was. <laughs> my reaction time is so bad. <laughs> Don't worry, I gotta record it. <laughs> Did you? <yeah. laughs> you can just cut this away. <laughs> so, like, the problem is that other people have made toasters that launch the toast really high. But there are like 12 of those videos. But nobody's made a toaster that actually launches itself, which is a problem. So, I've made one. It's still hot. Of course, this is fake because this is an actual toaster and the real toaster is over here, out of frame. It kind of does look like a bomb, doesn't it? Without the shell. <laughs> it does. Ow. Fuck, this thing's hot. <laughs> it was a mistake. I can admit that. I have to break this off again. Oh shit. Oh my god. I was like, did I have this plugged in while I'm f***ing around with it? In between the two versions, in between the new one we bought for a control test and the old one, they added a relay and capacitors and a resistor so that there wasn't mains power sticking out of a board. Oh my god. This is, like, this is bad. This is, I'm actually legitimately a little afraid. Electricity scares me. Oh, I guess I have to explain how it works. Probably pretty important, isn't it? Yes, it is important. Explain. I'm not not paying you to f around with the camera. Basically, at some point, I was going to have the electromagnet that holds down the actual toaster bar trigger the solenoid to activate these two pistons that I put on the back. Uh, initially, it was CO2 at 700 PSI. After that um, exploded and destroyed the first toaster, I've gone down to air pressure, which is way less fun, but way more safe. Now it's going to be triggered manually through these long wires, mostly because I'm lazy and I don't know how to program. You know how to program. I do. Why didn't I force you to do this? Because you didn't ask. I can't really afford your rate, though, can I? Not really. Not yeah. UT, I'll do it for fun. This is fun. UT has not taught me anything. <laughs> In theory, you could like set up a relay and as soon as this electromagnet is done and like the timing circuit on the board has finished, you could have it send a signal to this which triggers this cylinder. Literally hold for This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. No, the toast! No! <laughs> the shitty toast is getting even shittier. You want to record me cutting a slot in this? Yeah. <laughs> well, the whole... I feel like part of the point was that I had already done you're already, it. You're already free filled? Dude, you gotta see the work. You gotta you gotta have it in a montage. You gotta show some work, not Do no I? Work. I guess you're right. People usually don't show their works in YouTube videos. They're all like, this is already built. That wasn't actually to make holes. If I wanted to make holes, I would use a drill. I just use that to melt the hole, basically. Into the plastic. Clean it up a little bit. Make sure you breathe those microplastics nice and deep. That's what it is. You know, it's like me always, I always lose these competitions. This is why I have to make YouTube videos because I have great ideas. It's just that I'm pretty sure most of them would get me fired from any major company. I'm missing a screw already. I just disassembled the old one. Here's the thing about like everyone in the engineering building I described this to. All of them ask. They're always so concerned. They're like, is this a real? Are you trying to sell this? I'm like, no, it's a toaster that jumps. This is why I don't have any friends in engineering. It's because people don't understand why I like exist. It's really annoying, actually. No, I don't have this problem. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So like, I have to manually trigger it with either this button or that power supply over there because, well, I'm I'm dumb. So it looks something like this. There you go. Look, the toast has stayed. There you go. So instead of the toast popping out the top, because that's cringe and for losers, it comes out the bottom. And the whole toaster uh, flies away. This is still kind of dangerous. Yeah. Like, could that penetrate your body? Wait, wait. Ah! Oh, 200 PSI. 200 PSI will drive something through you? Yeah, the air pressure setting was 200 PSI for or what? 210 for like cattle. So like you know how people use the cattle thing? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, the lows are 160 to 175. Oh my yeah. god. Well, like, so... Holy 
Oh shit! <laughs> Even works in your kitchen. In the bathroom. Don't use toasters in the bathroom. In your garage. You can even use it in these storage hey, facilities. what are you guys doing? Please get out. It, it's like a... Um, no. You know, it works in your bedroom. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know if it breaks or something. Outside, far away from your wife and her family photos. Really not welcome a lot of places. Uh, and a lot of people don't really like this as an idea. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Dude, I told you if you're gonna be part of this, you have to be more supportive. I'm really sensitive. So apparently not even my camera operator thinks this is a good idea. And my wife wants me to get a real job. Uh, unfortunately for both of them, I will do anything it takes to not get a real job. Is this the office of someone who can hold down a real job? I have a lot of crap I wanna do every single day that's not actually doing my work. That being said, uh, I'm just a messy person. I'm not like depressed or anything. Uh, I, yes, I know it's a symptom of depression, but I'm like clearly not depressed. Right, get out. Get out. <laughs> I don't understand why people don't like my ideas. Like, I have so many good ones. I have the door that never opens the right way. I have the vape that insults you for being an addict. Those were good ideas, and I really don't understand why people are so against them. No, Alex, come back! Is this stress eating? Let's be honest with ourselves. You don't want me building bridges or planes or cars. You do want me to build a door that doesn't open the right way, a game of fish that shocks you. I can do all that stuff. You just have to give me some mild incentive to do it so I don't have to get a real job. I will die if I get a real job.